Does Social Security Need Saving? Providing for Retirees Throughout the 21st Century by Dmitry Papadimitrio and L. Randall Ray Low Fertility Rates A rise in the fertility rate would increase program revenues above those currently forecast. The fertility rate, which is currently 2.03 children per woman, is projected to fall to 1.9 under the intermediate assumptions and to rise to 2.2 under the low-cost assumptions. Historically, the fertility rate has fluctuated wildly. It was 3.3 children per woman after World War I, fell to 2.1 during the Great Depression, and then rose to 3.7 in 1957. Each increase of 0.1 in the fertility rate augments the long-range actuarial balance by about 0.11% of taxable payroll. If the fertility rate were to rise by 1.7, that is, to just over 3.7 children per woman, where it stood in 1957, the actuarial gap would be reduced by over 90%, given all other intermediate assumptions. Given present dem demographic patterns, this is unlikely. However, if the fertility rate were to rise only slightly to 2.2, then 16% of the projected actuarial gap would be eliminated. It should be noted that a fertility rate of 2.1 is consistent with zero population growth if death rates remain constant and net immigration is zero. Thus, the trustee's assumption of a fertility rate of 1.9 would actually depopulate the country in the absence of death rate reduc reductions and net immigration inflows.